You know, so I'm not judging, you know, your, your, your faith. Do whatever you got to do to get by, right? Jesus, Buddha, Allah, Yahweh, the Marvel Universe, I think, works for some people. <laughs> very popular belief system they claim that it isn't but i think it kind of is because i've poked at the marvel universe fans and they react like religious fanatics <laughs> they and it's dug in there pretty deep they'll they will claim the grown male nerd children will claim <laughs> that it's just entertainment and why do i got to be some sort of buzzkill? why am i bullying them well quite frankly i think at this point nerd culture i'm punching up all right they're no longer <laughs> you know, the huddled weirdos. They, they now sort of run the cultural apparatus. And I'm not, like, I'm not saying, yeah, I am saying it's a shitty thing, but what I'm saying <laughs> is that I think it's a belief system and I don't think they're willing to admit that. There's a couple of bubbles, you know? You've got the, the Fox News bubble, which is evil and malignant. You've got the broader Christianity bubble, which can go either way. And then you've got, you know, the, the Marvel Universe bubble, which is culturally malignant, and, but not as evil as Fox, but it's troubling. It's troubling for a couple of reasons. One of them culturally is being like, if you're a grown up who uh, doesn't feel like they need or want to see those movies, you kind of feel bullied into going and you have to literally resist. Like, I'm not going to go because you know people, they're like, ah, maybe it'll be fun. Don't go, don't do it. Don't give in, you're a grown up and you don't know what it'll do to your brain. <laughs> Brains are very soft. They're a lot softer than we assume. There's a lot of people that are you know, allowing themselves to become stupid and they don't even know it. And it's sad when you're their friend. So, <laughs> but like, you know, for grown up movies, the, you know, the studios put so much money into those Marvel movies and it kind of pushes the grown up movies into your home, which is fine. But it, you know, sometimes you want to see a movie like a movie with an audience, not just with your cat in my case. So, <laughs> You know, it, sometimes because of Marvel movies, you have to drive 25, 30 miles to a smaller theater to see a good adult independent film with other human beings, like-minded people, where you all get to leave at the end, confused by the ending. <laughs> and you can overhear other people saying things like, did he die at the end or he didn't? Why is that not clear? <laughs> well, I think the director wants us to be having this conversation. Well, I don't like it. Why can't we know whether he died or not? It seems important to the movie. Well, see, it clearly had an effect on you. Is this the effect you want, though? <laughs> but Marvel movies... See, the reason I think it's a belief system is most of... Some of these guys are my age, the fans of Marvel movies, and they've been reading, like, Marvel comic books since they were, like, nine. Like, four to ten titles a month for, like, what, 40 years? I mean, come on, like those of you who read the Bible when you were a kid, you got away from it probably, you know, you <laughs> lapsed a little bit. You don't read the Bible now unless you find a lump in your armpit or something, <laughs> you know, but it sort of got away from you. These guys still read four to 10 titles a month and you're gonna tell me that doesn't run deeper than just entertainment? Come on, there is a lot of grown male nerd children that when their life gets scary and existential and fucked up, you know, they bow down and go like, oh, end game will be out soon. You're like, when is the next one coming? And I think they believe it deeper than you're assuming they believe it. And I think it's fine. You know, Jesus, Iron Man, does it matter really? These are, these are good stories. They're good stories, good and evil, redemption. And oddly, you know, both of them, you know, could come back. Like, <laughs> Iron Man died at the end of the last movie, but it's possible that he could come back. I think a lot of grown male nerd children are hanging on to hope and they kind of know like he'll be back. And Jesus, of course, is prophesied. So, you know, we're on the precipice of two resurrections, folks. <laughs>